then lastly, uh, kind of tying it all together in a, pla in, a, in a kind of a pipeline type of scenario. Uh, we have, uh, you know, the source, where's the content coming from? Uh, Blu-ray 3D is, is uh, what Andy talked about, uh, a source of content, uh, streaming content from the internet, as well as uh, in the gaming space. We also need applications uh, developed you know, using media SDK um, and all the all the great options there that's in the media SDK uh, to read the content, process the content, uh, send the content uh, you know to uh, our graphics um, for decoding, encoding, transcoding, that sort of thing. Then also within the uh, hardware, like like I showed earlier. Setting up for signaling uh, to either the panel or to the glasses, um, the appropriate signal to keep everything in sequence. Then ultimately, uh, ending with the sync device, the TV, the panel, the EDP panel. Um, you know, making sure that visual experience goes through the pipeline, gets out to the end user, and uh, and, and presents itself in a synchronized manner. So both PC graphics and application, the whole stack uh, basically plays a very important role in making sure uh, 3D content gets out to the, to the end user uh, in the best possible uh, light, the best possible scenario. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and kick it back to Andy and have him come up and wrap us up.